Este 20, 21 y 22 de julio se va a llevar a cabo un encuentro internacional donde van a haber expositores de todo el mundo que está organizado por Siemens, Siemens Minerals Week, donde se va a discutir acerca de las tendencias mundiales en digitalización minera. Y para hablar sobre este tema y también el futuro de la industria, estamos en conversación con Doug Keith, quien es vicepresidente para Américas en Siemens de Large Drives Applications. Doug, uh, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. So the first question that I have is, this coronavirus pandemic has affected everyone's lifestyles, right? And I'm sure that it has also pushed some industries to adopt new technologies and to move forward towards digitalization, automatization, or, or at least they, they have seen the need to move forward towards that. I'm assuming that the mining industry is not the exception. So my question is how this COVID-19 pandemic um, has changed and impacted the mining industry in this area in particular? Okay, um, perfect. I think that's a real good question to start off with. Um, first off, certainly uh, we are starting to see Uh, investments turn around um, in all industries um, and obviously in mining as well. And the temporary slowdown that was caused by COVID seems to be over. Uh, demand seems to be increasing. Uh, investments in mining sector are, are either turning on or the promise is there to turn on, um, especially around rare earths and precious metals, as we all know. Um, In the United States, we're starting to see COVID-19 restrictions lifted. And um, I'm hearing about the same things in the rest of the world a little bit, maybe more slowly. And I'm really encouraged about, um, you know, the health of all the people around the world and, and what this might mean for industry. Mining companies use the disruptions I've seen to review their budgets. Um, many of them had to just to stay viable. Uh, but review their budgets, adjust their programs um, so that they can find ways uh, during the pandemic and also after the pandemic to maintain their competitive edge. Um, and as a result, it seems that many are more open to discuss the areas around operational improvements that can include digitalization. And uh, we're starting to see how digitalization Um, is fundamental to increase efficiencies um, in all industries, including mining. And um, because mines have always had a focus on their operations and um, as they continue to adopt new technologies, um, they will be able to hold on to their competitive advantages or um, gain competitive advantages for those mines that, that do not adopt these. How important yeah is the Latin American markets for you and for North America? Okay, good. Um, so I live in the United States, um, I work in the United States. I'm responsible for North and South America. And um, for me and for Siemens, um, and I think also for uh, North America, the Latin American markets for mining are extremely important. Um, for us and Siemens, Uh, most of our business, uh, we work with um, OEMs in the United States like Metso Autotech, um, ThyssenKrupp, Tenova, Tacraf, um, Terra Nova. Um, we're working with these companies mostly around um, equipment like grinding mills and crushers and conveyors. Uh, we're also working with the EPC firms and all of these customers that I just mentioned are key for um, the mines in South America, Chile and Peru, for example, and, um, and also in Mexico, and um, because they are their key customers. And significant investments in mining and mineral processing are being turned on in Latin America. So it makes it very, very important. And those markets seem to advance, have advanced further into areas of electrification and automation and digitalization than maybe some of the mines in North America. And um, what I hope also happens is, is that the U.S. and Canadian mines continue to adopt and learn from what happens in South America that many times seem to be more advanced. 
Well, that sounds very interesting. And can you describe us or tell us what kind of advancements are you working on uh, in North America? Okay, I, I guess I would answer that question by uh, making a real, real obvious uh, answer. And that is that I don't think it's different in North America than South America and the rest of the world related to mining. Um, for a long time, companies, uh, mining companies have uh, focused on some key metrics like yields and uptime, um, efficiency improvements. Um, I think knowledge uh, is a really important thing for uh, mining companies to focus on because of the aging workforce and the importance of, of training and that type of thing. Uh, mines also focus on safety and environmental concerns, obviously. And uh, Siemens uh, helps mines, I, I would say, in two different ways. First off, helping mines fully integrate their automation solutions across their uh, components and their processes and their systems. And then lastly, um, Siemens is very interested in working very heavily in supporting uh, the digitalization strategy um, that includes uh, helping mine, mining companies improve asset health analytics, um, this journey for the digital twin, and then also remote operations. And what do you think that are the main challenges for mine owners or operators that want to move forward towards this digitalization automatization? Great question and probably the biggest one that's out there. Um, uh, most mines around the world, um, this is true in North America uh, and in South America, are in remote areas, far from resources and utilities. Uh, most of these sites have existed for many years, um, so their operations tend to be conservative to new technologies. Uh, and this is a, an obstacle for them to overcome. And they're conservative to new technologies for a reason, because sometimes new technologies come in and cause a disruption and a mine can't afford to lose their revenue stream. Um, digitalization is not a bunch of buzzwords like asset networking or um, big data or artificial intelligence. Uh, and I think one of the one of the challenges is, is that digitalization really is a journey. You don't turn a light switch on um, and then from one day to the next, you're digitalized. It requires partnership with, um, with suppliers, with your employees, and it takes years to develop. And so it takes a long-term focus for it. And then um, the complexities come into that companies must commit resources um, for the long term. Uh, there's a lot of data that has to be prepared from multiple sources. Um, there's a major evolution of work processes. It's almost impossible to digital, digitalize things that are done manually um, in order to have them be automated in the future. So it requires a lot of um, reevaluation and rework of current processes. Um, probably requires top-down focus uh, that, that helps um, focus on work culture changes, um, improving the expertise of the workforce because many times there may be low tech um, capabilities. And, um, and like I said, it rarely happens all at once. And then probably the biggest obstacle that is on everyone's mind is around cybersecurity. You're going to have this seminar that is going to happen in July, where you're going to talk about this uh, digitalization and you're going to talk with experts all around the world. So can you tell me more about what's the focus of this seminar? This is a partnering event um, where LDA, Siemens LDA Americas um, is holding our second annual uh, Siemens Minerals Week. Um, an international mining digitalization seminar. Um, and it will be July 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And um, this uh, event includes um, our key leadership uh, inside of Siemens from our global mining solutions business, um, our leadership um, and our technologists. It includes uh, many, many customers. Uh, it also includes local Chilean and Peruvian stakeholders um, last year, uh, in the first year we had this event, we had over 5,000 international virtual attendees uh, right in the beginning of the pandemic. And um, for me, 
It's important for us in North America as well because um, mining is a critical industry. Um, and Chile and Peru and Mexico um, are very important to our customers in the United States. Yeah, I can imagine that. Yes, we have a very powerful mining industry here in Chile. So uh, the United States yep. is a country that's very diverse and has also grown into the local mining industry. What are the advantages that you see that diversity can bring to Siemens and also to the mining customers? You know, um, I'm glad you asked that question because uh, diversity is a big, important topic in the United States and around the world. Um, first off, I guess I'll ask answer the question related to um, the Siemens piece. Uh, first off, at Siemens, we value diversity um, and we learn um, from diversity. Uh, all of our employees as well as customers, as you can imagine, have um, different perspectives about topics, um, come from different backgrounds, have lived different life experiences, have different expertise, um, have different qualities um, in their in their leadership styles and their personalities. Um, and, uh, and so all of us are different. And so it's kind of interesting to me to ask the question in reverse, why not focus on diversity? And how can we believe that diversity is not important? Um, at Siemens, we're really a lot about uh, diversity of leadership. Um, in years past, it was uh, the model of a leader, uh, the model of a manager. And in today's world, since we don't have a model of what um, how an employee looks and how an employee is and behaves and reacts to things, then how can we also have this model that's a fixed model for, for what leaders are? So we want a workplace that um, broadens our perspective for all of our employees. Uh, we want a workplace that is attractive to all of the employees of the world, not just to a particular type. And I feel that diversity of experiences and knowledge and people is the best way to drive um, improvements in business practices, uh, improvements in the way operations operate efficiently. And um, at Siemens, um, maybe we say that um, technology is only as par powerful as the people behind it. And so I think in order to have great technology and to have technology that fits the world, and fits uh, the needs of the world, we probably need to have a diverse employee base to drive. Perfect, Doug, I, I have to say that I'm amazed about this, uh, how technology is going to change the future and the face of the mining industry. And for sure, we're going to be paying attention about this uh, Siemens Minerals Week, it's happening very soon. Uh, paying attention and following closely what, what you discuss there and what changes are going to happen in the near future, probably. Doug, thank you so much for speaking with us. You're welcome and thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye.